So as the saying goes, sell a may and go away. Should you be doing that? Well, we all know that the period of time between May and let's say October tends to underperform the time period between no uh, between October and May. And it does buy quite a bit. And I always get this question asked of me every spring, every May, June. Alan, should I just sell my investment, sit in cash, go off to my cottage and then you know, worry about things in September, October, when I come back, when the kids start school and the new year begins. And I say, well, you can do that, but I don't think it's the right approach. There have been many years where the markets over the summer have actually outperformed. And then unfortunately, towards the end of the year, we saw a bit of a sell-off. We saw a bit of a sell-off at the end of last year, heading into, uh, heading into January. Uh, and so for me, I don't think it's as simple as sell in May and go away. I think you you want to be invested. You want to own good quality investments. And if you are going to your cottages or summer homes or on vacation, hopefully you have an investment advisor to keep an eye on things for you that can advise you even while you're away in case you need to make a decision. And yes, it is true that the volumes of trades on the New York Stock Exchange, on the Toronto Stock Exchange, definitely dip, especially as we get on into the summer. By the third or fourth week of August, you're looking at the lowest trading volumes of the year. And of course, if something negative happens, the markets can really move on that news because the volumes are so low. So yes, things can be volatile. Yes, the market doesn't have a lot of traders there, doesn't have a lot of money going in and out. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, you still want to own good quality, regardless of what time you're looking at things, regardless of what month of the year. So the sell and man go away to me has never been a, I guess, something that I practice. Even though investors may get nervous if they're traveling or if, the, if they know this time of year can be a little more volatile because there's not a lot of trades going on. I think you still want to stick with the good quality investments because in no matter what type of environment, those good quality investments will always rise to the top.